Hi there, I'm Cheryl Johnson and this is Jim Wildman. And we have decided to create some really fun little videos and uh, Jim had a great idea that he wanted to share with you. Uh, we decided to make a little things for artists out there and for people wanting to learn of text, tools, and techniques. They're called tips, tools, and techniques. Tips, tools, and techniques. I guess 3T. Well, we are going to do the first one on values. I wrote a book out there. It's not this one, but uh, you can go to it at Art Lessons Now, and it's in a PDF form, and you can buy the entire book, which is 253 pages, which is terrific. And we decided to share some of the uh, things that I wrote about in the values, the creative advantage, about values. And so that's what our first tip is going to be about. And we just finished uh, this painting, which is a tornado painting, because Jim is from Claremore, Oklahoma, and we figured that this would be a perfect painting to talk about values. Why are values so important, Jim? Well, it, it changes to tell you from the darkness to lightness, and the value can, can change from bright to tone to shading. Uh, it's used one one primary things throughout painting. We think values are more important than color. And so we're going to be sharing those tips, tools, and techniques. Okay, cut away. Values, the creative advantage. What makes a good painting better? I believe it is values. Having great tools is fine, but knowing what to do with them is better. Value is one of the seven elements of art along with line, shape, form, texture, color, and space. Value is how light or dark something is. Why is looking at a value scale important in painting? Light defines objects and literally helps us to see things. The value scale is so important for artists because it's a way of organizing the lights and darks. It can consist of nine or ten values, and it's a key way to move the eye to get to the crucial part of the painting, where your eye goes. This is called the focal point, or the place your eye sees first. The value can look different depending on the background. The same black on gray looks different than on white. Artists can create a wide range of values or tones or shades by looking at the darks and lights and placing them correctly. These are called tonal values. As artists, you change the value of a color simply by adding black or white. The value of any color can be altered or changed by adding white. Adding white creates a tint which raises the value. Adding gray creates a tone. Adding black creates a shade. You should kind of think about this and memorize this screen or print it out. I believe the more you learn about values, the better artist you will become. In fact, I think values are more important than color, but that's another story. We hope you enjoyed that quick tip, tools, and techniques, and watch for more of them on Instagram and on YouTube and on our website. We want to share with you everything we can to help you in your creative process. And remember to pursue your passions and have more joy every day. And please go out to Jim's site, which is jwildman.com and my site, which is cheryljohnsonartist.com and now we have a new site called johnsonwildman.com and of course our artlessonsnow.com We're getting so many things and so many things we've created for you and we're just looking forward to it. In fact, we're going to start having a, every two weeks we're going to do a live Instagram, so be on the lookout for that. So thank you so much, and we hope you have a great day. God bless. All right.